Welcome everyone, I'm Russell Alexander. I've been practicing family law for over 20 years with our firm, Russell Alexander, Collaborative Family Lawyers. You can learn more about COVID-19 and how it's affecting and making changes to divorce at our Divorce Information Center at russellalexander.com. Without further ado, let's get into today's topic. A mother's decision to unilaterally withdraw the children from in-person schooling backfires. Recently, in a case of Purdy, the parties argued their second high conflict motion whether their children ages 7 and 10 should attend in-person or virtual school. The mother regist registered the children for online learning unilaterally in the summer. However, the parties eventually consented to the temporary order in September where it was held. The children shall attend school in person. Neither party shall change the ch children's school from in-person to online without the written consent of the other parent. The children shall not miss more than five days of school throughout the school year unless a, doctor no a doctor's note indicates the contrary or there's a snow day. And should the children's school or classroom be closed due to an outbreak, the party shall ensure that they complete at least 90% of their assignments. A few months later, the mother unilaterally withdrew the children from in-person schooling, informing the father she would not be returning the children to his care. The father brought an urgent motion requesting the immediate return to in-person learning and the return of the children to his care in order to ensure they went to school. If you're enjoying this video and find it helpful, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below. The parties both submitted unsworn affidavits and were advised by the court that the affidavits may now be commissioned virtually and they should not expect that in the future the court will accept unsworn affidavits. The court considered numerous facts when determining the judgment of the motion. First, the court could not condone the mother's unilateral decision and expressed that the spread of COVID-19 virus since September did not justify her actions. The mother tried to re-argue her position from the September hearing and revoked her consent for the children to attend school without providing sufficient evidence to justify her allegation that the father failed to public follow sorry, public health directions related to COVID-19. Ultimately, the court agreed with the father. The children were returned to him immediately on a temporary basis, and the matter was set for trial for 2021. The court expressed that the mother might try to take advantage of interruptions in the school's in-person schooling due to the public health act directives or local school closures. The mother failed to respect the authority of the court as the justice expressed. Her conduct raises significant concerns that she would not comply with further orders of the court requiring the children to attend school in person. The court held that the children shall reside with their father, that he shall have sole custodial decision-making, and the terms of the September 8 order would continue, and police could enforce the order if necessary. To learn more about this case, you can read the full article in the link in the description below. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment box below. If you like this video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and let us know. You can subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.